Join us on an enchanting journey through the captivating market town of Pateley Bridge, nestled in the heart of the picturesque Nidderdale and home to the world's oldest sweet shop. But that's not all. Our adventure extends beyond the cobble streets and onto the sprawling moors, where the Grade 2 listed York's Folly, fondly known as the Two Stoops, awaits our exploration. Why not unleash your adventurous spirit with llama trekking? wander along the tranquil river Nid, or marvel at the awe-inspiring formations of Bremen Rocks. The possibilities are endless, and the beauty of this region is bound to leave you mesmerised. Here we are in Summerbridge, and all these spaces are free. And what three words are? Come check it out! Today we are doing a hike in the Nidderdale area and we are with two of our favourite YouTube legends Steve, and, Steve and, Karen. and Karen! Tramp in the hills! Whoop, whoop. We're doing a 12 mile hike that will take us to York Folly, Pateley Bridge and Brimham Rocks. Stay tuned! Oh, Very nice! Very quiet! Are we right here, Chief? No, it's the other side of the wall. Oh. <laughs> yeah. First faux pas. Stephen's found the way, the right way. What have you seen, Nicholas? Way up there. Nicholas is taking a picture. It appears we are going the right way. Big style crossing after a lengthy ascent. Ooh. Karen's at the back, never seen that before. <laughs> so we've got cracking views from up here. We've got Menworth Hill over there, over the warning system. And right, blossom, right over there, we've got Boomer Rocks, so we're heading to later. First sighting of the trig point. Nicholas is getting a picture. Nice. Into the overgrowth. Socks are up. Socks are up. up. Socks are up. And the only sensible, sensible one. Steven. Everybody's, on. everybody's rolled their socks up. <laughs> Nelly's come along for a ride. How are you finding it, Nelly? <laughs> Very good. Half of the long grass. <laughs> what was that, Nelly? Not okay, Another long grass. I've got some truck rats. <laughs> so while I've got Nicholas and these big rocks behind us. Wait till you see this, let me spin you round. We've got Steve and Karen knee deep in Heather. <laughs> How are you liking it, Nicholas? Absolutely awful. <laughs> so, come to the overgrowth here, and there's a perfectly decent path here. Well, what's that view of Jill? The tramp in the hills behind me is amazing. You won't believe what I have to see. Let me spin you round. It's a trick point, check it out. It's got flush bracket intact. S7748. Very nice. Over in the distance, we've got Osmothley and the end of the North York Moors. You can even see Clay Bank at the top. Over here, we've got Brim and Rocks, where we'll be going to later after dropping down into Hayley Bridge. And over on the horizon there, we've got Memories Hill, big golf balls. Absolute fantastic day with Stephen and Karen. And, uh, I shall not pass away now, so that's even better. And what's that view down the moors towards Pateley Bridge? It's really impressive. You won't believe what we've just seen. Let me spin you around. I'm not going to believe this. It's York's Folly. Check that out. Wow. This impressive looking structure was built in the late 18th century and it is grade two listed. Known locally as the two stoops. It used to be three stoops as there was a third structure, but this blown down in the storms of 1893. Ooh. Yeah. This York's folly was commissioned by the York family and like the Druid's temple, it provided a lot of employment during a recession.
heading out onto Nort Moor. Come on. Don't slap the gate. Absolutely stunning. Quite possibly the best month of the year to be doing this walk. Fantastic weather, fantastic company, and just look at this beautiful heather. How are we liking it so far, Julie? Super! Hi! It's time for... <laughs> Gate of the Week! <laughs> Julie, we're not going that way! Oops. Come back to Gate of the Week again! It can still be Gate of the Week. <laughs> still a very beautiful gate. Here we are in the lovely market town that is Pateley Bridge. It's situated within Nidderdale, which is classed as an area of natural beauty. Let's go check it out. Free toilets, wouldn't get that out of the coast. Pateley Bridge is home to the last agricultural show in the area and it brings in 14,000 visitors a year. Check it out. And this field behind me here, it's where it all takes place. Wow. That's not a bad price. And what's this flower decoration behind me? A really impressive. You won't believe what I've just seen. Let me spin you around. It's River Nid. Check it out. In 2017 and in 2018, Pateley Bridge was voted the best yeah. place to live in the north of England. And I can see why. This place is smashing. And like in most market towns, every single shop on the high street is open with independent shops. Check it out. This is the oldest sweet shop in all of the world. Established in 1827, but the building that it's in was 1661. Just look at the care. Pateley Bridge take over their gardens. That is absolutely magnificent. What do you think to Pateley Bridge, Jill? Super. Leaving Pateley Bridge and taking the Nidderdale way. Come on. Very steep ascent out of Pateley Bridge. These guys are used to it. Thankfully, some of this ascent is quite shaded, so it keeps that intense heat off you. Oh, spoke too soon. Back out in the sun. Oh. And whilst that view of the tree behind us isn't very impressive, you won't believe what I've just seen. Let me spin you around. Look at that view from the rock. Absolutely amazing. Check it out. This viewing platform, known as the Rock, was put here for Queen Victoria's Jubilee way back in 1887. At that time, this was a very popular tourist destination. Check it out. Here's Nicholas taking a picture of York Folly where we were earlier. So, picnic eaten, and we're all refreshed and ready to crack on. Let's go. Yeah. Time for turnstile of, of the wee. <laughs> what a style it is, look. Two tickets for Jaws, please. <laughs> it's like a stepped out of time. Absolutely stunning. So it must be part of a campsite. Wow, very classy. What can you see, Frodo? <laughs> the ring. Don't touch it. This 
behind us is Nidderdale Llamas, where you can actually hike and walk the llamas. We'll put the details right here. Check them out. Them llamas are nice, but don't go too close to them. Some of them alpaca punch. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, very elegant. And whilst the view of that forest behind is really special, you won't believe what we've just seen. Let me spin you around. You're not going to believe this. It's brilliant rocks. Check it out. This natural spectacle that is Brimham Rocks and these massive rock formations were created by immense rivers a hundred million years before the first dinosaur walked the earth. Before we check out the rocks, we're gonna find the trick points at Brimham Rocks. Stay tuned. Don't tell me we've got a dance at this one. Maybe just a gentle waltz. As always, Karen leading the way. Brimham Trig! Kicked his ass! Top of the world! Ta-da! Brimham Rock Tree! So it's got a flush bracket, intact, 7894. 400 million years ago, North American and Eurasian plates collided and made a massive mountain range here. Didn't it, Adele? 335 million years ago, the UK was located above the equator, making it very tropical and warm seas all in this area. 15 million years later, erosion from the mountain range transported silt and rocks through, flash, through fast flowing rivers. The deposits from the rivers were compressed and formed over time to make these amazing rocks here at Brimen. It's even got free toilets, but closed. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Look how majestic. Don't even understand how it stands. In fact, people have been asked to not climb on this one. So it may topple over. This is the Druids writing table. And back in the 1800s, to increase tourism in this area, they started a rumor that these were actual Druids carvings. It drew a lot of people here. But eventually, people found out these are just natural rock formations. Check it out, though. And where I'm stood is a lover's leap. And the tale is that a girl brought a boy home to her parents' house, and the dad was so upset with the boy that the couple threw themselves off here. But a witch saved them, and they survived the fall. Check it out, but don't go jumping off. Disclaimer. These impressive structures are great for amateur rock climbers and boulders alike. People often come down here to enjoy them and have fun on them. Natural phenomenons are amazing. Another great activity right on Pateley Bridges doorstep. Check it out. If you do decide to come in the car, it's £6.50 for four hours or £10 for all day. Or if you're a National Trust member, you get it for free. No, thank you for having us, Brim and Rocks. Summer Bridge makes me feel fine Walking with good friends, friends having a great time, time. <laughs> Which were we going for, good or great? Great! Summer, Summer Bridge makes me feel fine Walking with good friends, friends having, having a great, great time, time. <laughs> So that's another great day with Stephen and Karen, aka a tramp in the hills. Fantastic. Fantastic. But more importantly, what a great place. Pateley Bridges, there's so much to do here. You can have a walk along the River Nid. You can visit York Folly. You can go to Broom and Rocks. You can visit the shops, the oldest shop, sweet shop in the world. And you can even go llama trekking. So we're going to give Pateley Bridge a five out of five on the activity scale. Check it out. Go Pateley Bridge. Go Pateley.